Okay, so first of all, I want to get the headings here to repeat four times. And in order to do that, I am going to select these cells and then type the AND symbol and then select four blank cells going down a column. And I end up with the headings repeated four times. Now, you might not want to select four blank cells like this because you could accidentally delete them or put something in them later on. So instead of this, you can use the expand formula. We want the array to be nothing, so we'll put two quotation marks in here with nothing in between them. And then we need to have four rows and one column. And then we will pad with nothing. So we'll put two quotation marks in here with nothing in between again, and then close brackets and enter. And this creates an array of four blank cells. So we can now copy this and put it into this formula to replace this cell reference. And if we were to actually calculate this, we'd end up with an array that looks like this. Now I'll delete this and the formula is no longer linked to these cells. Now we will put the two row formula around all of this in order to get the values to go across the top. Now we want to do the same thing for the seasons in the first column. So I will start by using the unique formula to get a unique list of all of the seasons. Then we'll type in the AND symbol and this time we'll join it to three blank cells going across the top in order to get the seasons to repeat three times. Now again, instead of actually selecting blank cells, you can use the EXPAND formula. The array will be two quotation marks with nothing in between and then this time we'll have one row and three columns and the pad width will again be two quotation marks with nothing in between, and close brackets and enter, and we get the same results. Now we can put the two row formula around all of this in order to get the seasons to go along the top. Then we also want to take the values in the second column and get them going down the side, so I'll use another unique formula and then select the second column and enter. The next step is to get all of the numbers and we'll do this using an index match formula. First of all, we'll take all of the values in the first column and use another AND symbol to join them to the values in the second column. And we end up with spring 1, spring 2, spring 3, summer one and so on. Then we will select all of the seasons going along the top and use another AND symbol to join them to the numbers going down the side. And we end up with spring one, spring two, spring three and then summer one and summer two and so on. We can then put this into the X match formula. So this is the lookup value, and then the lookup array will be the seasons in the first column joined to the numbers in the second column, and close brackets and enter. And this will get us all of the row numbers. So spring one will get us row one, which is here, and then spring two, gets us row two, which is here. Then spring three gets us row three, which is here. Summer one will get us row four, which is here. And then summer two will get us row five, which is here, and so on. Now we've gotten the row numbers, we need to get the column numbers. So which of these three columns are we selecting? And we'll use another X match formula to do this. So the lookup values will be all of the letters going across the top, 
then the lookup array will be the headings here and enter. And this gets us the numbers 1, 2, 3 repeating over and over again. We can now use these two X match formulas inside of an index formula. So I will type index and then the array will be all of the numbers. And then the row number will be the first X match formula. And then the column number will be the X match formula that I just copied and close brackets and enter. And now we have all of the numbers arranged the way that we want them. So these numbers here become these numbers here and these numbers here become these numbers here, for example. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to rearrange a table using dynamic arrays in Excel, and that is everything.